Look, how many times have you finished a run, the sweat hasn't even dried yet, and you're immediately already on to the rest of your day? Well, today in this video, we're taking five minutes back for ourselves to work on a little bit of cool down stretching. We do this, our bodies are gonna feel better, we're gonna recover more quickly, and we're gonna enjoy running that much more. So let's go. So look, sometimes we hear stretching and we kind of roll our eyes and we're like, oh, we're supposed to do it, but we never do. But let's remind ourselves why stretching is so important. Remember, there's a huge relationship between your range of motion, your mobility and your mechanics and your ability to stay healthy. I've worked with a lot of strength coaches and physical therapists over the years. And they've really painted this picture well for me as I've dealt with numerous injuries. The tighter our body is, the more we tend to move in compromised movement patterns. And the more our movement patterns are compromised, the more likelihood we are to have some kind of injury because all of a sudden we're piling upon a bunch of miles where the wheels in the car aren't fully aligned. It's like driving your car down the road with like a tire turned out. You're just gonna start chewing through that rubber a little bit faster than if it were aligned. So we're gonna use the stretching routine to realign us a little bit, get some of that range of motion back, and feel healthier as a result. So the three exercises we're gonna do today involve leg swing, some hip circles, and a little downward dog. And these are so key for opening up your hips and restoring that range of motion that if we don't take care of, we tend to get tight and stiff, and when we get tight and stiff, we tend to move a little bit differently, and when we move differently, that's when we tend to get beat up and potentially injured. So I'm just gonna come in and I can do this inside or outside, or you could do it right after your run. I'm just gonna post up on my left leg and I'm just gonna find a little bit of balance. If I need to hold on to something, I could. And I'm gonna start with some gentle leg swings. And my goal here is to go for 10 to 20, starting small and slowly, if I can, making them a little bit bigger. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm really tight in this midline and making sure that as I swing my leg out the back, I'm really hinging at the hip and not at the low back, if that makes sense. So I'm not trying to swing the low back here. This is tight, so just this leg moves. And I'm gonna get a little stretch in the hamstring in front, as well as those hip flexors at the back that get so tired. Once I've gotten my share, my fair share, 10 to 20, I'm gonna get into the split lunge position, walk this leg back, Put both hands into the ground and in this long runner's lunge. And this is what I like to call hip circles. Because I can do these little circles with my hips. And I love this one. We're gonna do about 10 in each direction. Again, this is like cooking the favorite recipes you know. It's no hard amount of ingredients for anything. It can just be 10-ish. You could do more if you need more. You could do bigger circles if that feels good or smaller ones. But what I love about this is I'm getting deep into my hamstring here and my glutes. I could even extend this leg and get a little bit more hamstring. And then also I could drive this back hip to the ground, stretch out those hip flexors. And of course, not forgetting to breathe. Once I've got these done, I'm just gonna go ahead and step back in to a downward dog. When I do this, I just like to pedal my feet out a little bit. Kind of hold for 20 to 30 seconds. You could pedal your feet out 10 times in each side. Finishing up, standing up tall, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So now I'm gonna post up on my right leg. I'm gonna start swinging this left back and forth here. Again, you may notice one hip's a little bit tighter stiff from the other. And again, I always like to start small just to find that balance. If I need to hold something, I can totally do that. I can make these swings a little bit larger. Only as much as your body can give you. So everyone's range of motion is different. So everyone's leg swing is gonna look a little bit different. Once I've got my 10 to 20 of those, I'm gonna swing back all the way. Long lunge position, both hands on the ground. And as I do this, I like to have this ankle outside my shoulder, sometimes you may notice when you first do these, your foot's like way back here. So try to slide this foot up a little bit more. And then same thing, we're gonna get circles going clockwise, so for 10. Adding different movements, 
bigger versus smaller circles feels good. And then I can go 10 circles the other way. Breathing as you go. If you find yourself holding your breath, just acknowledge that, try to breathe through it. The more you can, the more you're gonna relax into this. And then finally, once I've got that done, I'm gonna push back into this down dog position. Stretch out those calves, really bend both knees, push that chest through your arms, then I could get a little bit more upper body. And then, whew, just like that, I've cooled down and I'm ready for the rest of my day. Now that we're all limbered up and ready to go, remember, the Big Run training program starts next week. We've got eight wonderful weeks to train together at a local Fleet Feet near you or follow along with the virtual training program option. We're doing this with Brooks. This is all for the big run, which is our way of celebrating Global Running Day on June 7th. So click that link below this video. I'll see you in there.